Hello animal lovers, and welcome to today's episode of Feeding the Critters of the Night. Today we're going to watch uh, an Asian green vine snake disabled and swallow an anole. This video is a re-uploaded, re-edited version of the original. When I first started posting videos, I would take a bunch of 10 second clips and post them on the site to watch later. I really didn't plan on anyone else looking at them. Um, I just put them on there because of my lack of phone memory. But um, as my love for animals has grown, so is my want to talk about them. And since most of my friends could care less, without further ado, I give you this. I'm going to feed my so in the green video I tree called snake. It a green tree snake, which is true. Um, it is green. They are arboreal, and it is a snake. But uh, it is actually, and uh, and hopefully I don't butcher this, and uh, et ula parsina, or an Asian vine snake. Um, these snakes are all over Southeast Asia. Their camouflage um, is usually vines, obviously. Um, they eat small lizards, amphibians, like the ones here uh, that you see. Um, to my surprise, these snakes are part of the colubrid family, and like the colubrids in my other videos, um, um, and if not all of them, these uh, these snakes are, are rear fanged. Um, but the difference is this species is mildly venomous, um, but supposedly not enough to cause any major harm to humans. At least not an adult, I would think. Uh, from what I can understand, rear fang snake's venom delivery mechanism is less efficient than those of, say, a cobra or something. Um, that's why you can sort of see my snake chewing on his prey uh, to get the venom really coursing from his duvernoy gland all the way to his victim. Um, but I, I don't know. Rear fang versus front fang snakes, glands, delivery mechanisms, that all sounds like a video for a different day. But anyway, these guys can get pretty long, some reportedly up to six feet. Um, what I really admire is the fluorescent green scales, their large yellow eyes for their. Um, body thickness and size of their head, and their seemingly checkered pattern on the throat. <clears throat> Get some water real quick. <clears throat> Although these snakes are beautiful, in my opinion, these snakes should be left in the wild. They're quick in my experience quite fragile and can be hard to supply food for depending on where you live um, for all those reasons on top of being mildly venomous I do not recommend this animal as a pet especially to beginners but if you feel confident in your skills to handle snakes and you can find a breeder um, these snakes this species I don't know how well they do in captivity, I'm not sure, I haven't really looked up on that. Then by all means, 